blood. Must be birdies. Trout should lead me to him. Not yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Uh, yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. It's my birthday today. Uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan? What's going on? Nathan? Nathan! Barney. You there? Barney? Aiden. You there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... <sighs> Didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything.
things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fucker with Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? For what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort. Aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Those crystals. What's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does, but there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? 
It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill. To support themselves, they take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar, but Carl threw them out for pulling scams, and now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Something you like in the bazaar?
Aiden? Something's up. Susie? You there? Sophie! We're under attack! What? Susie, what's going on? It was a trap! Run! Fuck! Susie? Ralph? Aiden, hurry! They've got all the crystals, everything we have! Bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it! I knew those motherfuckers would betray us. Fuck them, Aiden. Kill them all! Fuck you! Survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. No! Fuck! Oh, shit. <sighs> Fuck! What? The goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there.
Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right, enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. How's it going? You alive, man? Fuck. I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. 
Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ato will let us into the center. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Sophie? Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that means I should wait here. Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked. And yet I let him lead. Don't beat yourself up. 
Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened... You were... you were... Yeah. I see. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. He's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. To your health! I gather you were close with Bertie? He tried to be a poet. Kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was ten years old. That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear, I'll gut them. Real stuff. gonna stand there or we'll <laughs> what do you want I don't like what's going on here Aiden first Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate you're not a part of that are you but you said you wanted me to get close to them I'm gonna search Sophie's camp that's why I came to warn you rumors have started you found the Lazarus for me they may suspect you of being a PK spy You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. 
I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar and for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Don't trust the people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous than they seem. Don't trust the people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous than they seem. Go help, Sophie. But be careful, Hayden. Take care of yourself, Pilgrim. Looks like Sophie's not here. I, think I better we look must, for her. Must be. Dad, it's still early. <coughs> Just this. Have you seen Sophie? I'm, I'm looking for Ah, oh, it's our brave fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. Drink up! Cheers! Uh, my throat's sore. Don't want you to catch anything. 
I'm unfucking touchable. The nastiest plagues can kiss my fucking ass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook. Can't ever finish a sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling it music? Hey, you mangy pricks! Say your prayers. Barney's coming! And he's gonna kick your dairy ears. <laughs> I'll rip out your brains! Then your hearts! Uh... One thing. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went... She said... Uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait! There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with... Uh, not working with... the. Uh, it's broken, that, uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him... alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet. But I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. Because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests. But they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive, and that you find him someday. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your health! I love you! What now? 
Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. And he led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Wait, where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. or help. Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. Well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Change of plans, Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can.
It is so odd. <laughs> for each of us killed. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the Maiden. Where's Jack and Joe? They fled the camp as soon as they heard the sound of fighting. I don't know what they're planning. 
They said they were waiting on backup. What backup? I don't know exactly. Lately. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Run. Go now. No time to waste. Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the Metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. You're right. I'll head to the metro station. Smart decision. I'll be in touch. Which is not good news. I have no beef with him. Yeah, yeah. Good. I didn't go to the motel. You were right. There was something fishy about it. Yeah, it looks like you were getting close to the truth. Either they killed Lucas, or they know who did. We'll force them to talk. How will you do that? By taking control of the water tower. Jack and Joe took off somewhere. Only stragglers left in the tower at best. This is the only source of water in the area. And whoever controls the water, controls old Villador. So you'll take it by force? I could. 
With the bandits gone, the bazaar will station guards at the tower. At the first sight of the PK, there'll be an immediate clash of forces. <sighs> well, I don't want to give them an excuse for war. However, if someone took over the tower quietly, it would be a fait accompli. So you want me to sneak in there? Yes. And disarm the charges left by Jack and Joe. Take out whoever's left up there. But be careful. The tower's the tallest structure in the area. The only way up was cut off. I can try. Seems like the only option right now. All right. Go for it. If you pull it off, we'll gain massive leverage for the bazaar to tell us who the killer was. Weeks ago. Ever think about joining the PKs, Pilgrim? You're a fierce fighter from what I heard. Looks like the bandits fled the water tower. It's unoccupied. Ader wants to take control of the water and force the bizarre folk to talk. So this is how he's looking into Lucas's murder. He's not such an idiot after all. But watch out for Joe, Aiden. The guy's a clown, but he's dangerous. The doubt he'd just run off like that. Taller than I thought. <sighs> Damn. Hater, Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Fuck. You can't let that happen. The tower's mined. Try and disarm the charges. Fast. Thank you. 
Supposed to take tribute, just collect money. Jack, give it back. They'll get what they deserve. They will die. Jack, Got it. I'm warning you. And the water is safe. After all, gonna give you a fireworks show you'll never forget. <laughs> of course, they'll fuck us up. Either the bizarre jack holes or the PK. They'll be on us the moment we come down from here, buddy. We lost it, man. We lost it. We can't fight everything. That's why it's time for fireworks. Nobody's getting out alive. Joe, I don't want to die, you asshole. Hey, who's there? Stop! Or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear! I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe, hey, isn't that the Pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a Pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone! I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance! Fucking listen to me for once! Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar! After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker, gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Luke is wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. Been setting a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I don't bargain with extortionists and murderers. Well now, look at the saint. The Pilgrim wants to preach to us. Oh, you fucking fool. Do it, Jack. Now! Goodbye, Bazaar. What? What happened? Your toys don't work? You... You did this? You pay for that. The war... Oh! 
So what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water? Hack on. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. I bet you wonder where all the guns went, right? Hmm. 